Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Today our topic is about the best scientists in the world. You know, the Muslims, they have tons of articles. Uh, and even they claim that there is many scientists, they embrace Islam. If you look at the video info here, in the info, I said, Christians, they attack Prophet Muhammad when in fact he was the best and the top of his classroom. And he get his PhD in less than eight hours. So when the Muslim, they speak about uh, science and scientists, and they have tons of articles and videos, how truthful what the Muhammadan they say? Do they have any base to it, or it is a fabrication? So this is a challenge for the Muhammad, and a friendly challenge, if anyone would like to call us. This is my link in Skype. All what you need, just a click in it, and you will be joining us in Skype. So if you are a Muslim, and you can show us any base of the claim, otherwise we accuse you, Muhammad, to be liars lying about what your prophet did and what he believed so the challenge is very simple who is a muhammadan can call us and show us if the claim is a truthful or it is just fiction not only it's a fiction it's a it's a lie in purpose to lie which mean it's a pre meditated uh, what they call it like you know uh, like, you know, you are lying and you, you know, just you want to fool people about things that not even exist. So either they are sharing the truth, and I mean here the Muhammadan, or they are fabricating a lie and the purpose is to fool the foolish one. And you know this world is full of foolish ones. But I find it very embarrassing that I claim that Muhammad is a person who brought science and his God so, but yet nobody dared to call us and to prove us. In one scientific fact, Muhammad, he said. So feel free, if you are a Muhammadan, otherwise we are going to be uh, checking out your scientific claims in your articles. Even Muslims, they have books about it. As an example, uh, Zakir Naik, you know, Quran and modern science, but I can crush Zakir Naik and his book in two seconds. In fact, Amazon, uh, uh, some of you told me that they cannot find my book, Quran and Science in depth in Amazon for a long time. I'm going to contact Amazon soon and I will see why they are hiding my book. And we will see what we will do with them. Science in the Quran. Muhammad is a person of science. So we call the Muslims to join us. If you are a person who is smart and you like to have a nice conversation and you like to convert Christians to Islam, I, I mean, this is your opportunity uh, because all what you need to do, point your finger at the scientific statement of your God and your prophet, and then people will be amazed and they will convert to Islam. And actually, uh, you will be able to do it right away because remember, not only science in your side, if you are a Muhammad, Allah is in your side. I mean, if Allah is a God and He is with you, then who could be against you? And this is a statement is talking from the Bible, like, you know, if God is with me, who could be against me? Before we, uh, before we continue talking, there is a Muhammadan, he made a, a statement, his name is Musa. And I find it very funny that Muslims, they steal everything, even names. So a Muhammadan who believe in a stone, his God is La, and then he called himself Musa, Mushe. But if you ask him what Mushe means, he does not know. He will tell you Allah knows best. But as usual, you know. So Musa's, they, they mourned, he said, are you nuts? You 
been transferred to Fisco analyst analyst ah, Fisco you know what I like this sentence like Fisco thing I think you're a prophet he did Fisco analyst when he was watching the rats drinking milk if you remember the hadith where your prophet he was uh, you know he's a he's, he's a laboratory guy I mean this guy he watched carefully and I mean Prophet Muhammad sorry when I say this guy sorry I don't mean to disrespect because I respect Prophet Muhammad a lot so analyst psychoanalyst hmm. you know the Prophet Muhammad one of his discovery as an example and I hope the scientists who they are listening to us they can agree or disagree and maybe you agree I don't know so Prophet Muhammad because he is an scientist and he is an observant, he found an astonishing discovery. And I will put it for you in the screen in a second. Fisco. Oh boy. Uh, let us see, Mr. Fisco. So this is the hadith that I show it to you on the screen. And Mr. Fisco Moses can help us with the science of the Prophet. Let us share it. The Fisco guy. I mean, we have to admit Muhammad is a Fisco man. So Muhammad the scientist he was watching rats and actually we knew that and this is by the way a discovery that scientists they use mice and rats to study science can we deny that who of you can deny that nobody so Prophet Muhammad obviously his house was full of rats and it was because it was a laboratory the Prophet said a group of Israelists were lost nobody knows what they did but I do not see them except they were cursed and changed into rats. But how Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Allah pray on him, not for him, come to such a conclusion. The Prophet, he give you an extreme scientific method of observation, observation and, you know, like scientific way to analyze. For if you put a milk of a she camel in front of a rat it wanted to drink it but if the milk of a sheep is put in a front of, of front of it it will drink it and now we understand how muhammad is extremely scientifically accurate prophet muhammad because of his science he said to himself hmm I live between the Jews and the Jews they believe that the sheep the, the the milk of the camel is forbidden it's not kosher it's not clean it's nudges and they don't eat even the meat of the camel and now I'm looking at the rats and they are not drinking the milk of the camel so now Muhammad he discovered because of his solo science no one ever come to such a conclusion he discovered okay rats don't drink milk of a she camel jews don't drink of she camel that's mean those rats they used to be jews and allah transformed them into rats now who is the scientist who wanna come and give us a help in this scientific discovery Anyone? Anyone? Like those Muslim channel, Dawa, Fadwa, Shadwa, Nadwa, Balwa, you know, where are you? 
we are welcoming you for a nice conversation together and either we laugh either you laugh at me I don't want to laugh at you most times honestly and you know you're not my target my target is the biggest fat liar Muhammad I mean how in the world this guy he come to this I can use the same to you donkeys don't drink whiskey Muslim don't drink whiskey does that mean that donkeys used to be Muslim cursed by Allah I mean, what a stupidity is that? Monkeys drink urine. Muslims drink urine. Oh, I forgot that even the Muslims, they believe that monkeys are Muslims. If you remember, there's a hadith about monkeys practicing Sharia Allah and they were stoning a female monkey who cheated her husband, Mr. Shapanzi. He is from a big family. He is from the Red Asset tribe, chimpanzee. Uh, so, you know, this uh, female milky monkey, you cannot trust a female monkey to be your wife. I'm telling you, I mean, it's, it's your fault. I mean, what do you expect? Okay? So here we see, uh, this guy, he saw it with his own eyes. I mean, he's, he's a companion of the Prophet of Allah. And he witnessed how monkeys, they practice the Sharia Allah of Allah. Because Allah, he gave them a prophet, the Prophet Muhammad. The Prophet Muhammad is not only a prophet for mankind, according to the Muslims. He's a prophet for everybody. He converted this, the lizard to Islam. You remember? He converted the camel to Islam. He converted the tree to Islam. The tree said, Allahu Akbar, Shahada, you know, Shish Kebab Hummus. So here we see, during the pre-Islamic period of ignorance and the funny, the Muslim, they call other people ignorance. Look, look, look at this. The pre-Islamic era of ignorance. Hmm. Now we are in the time of science. I saw a she monkey surrounded by a number of monkeys. They were all stoning it because it had committed illegal sexual intercourse. And I too stoned it along with them True story, brother. You know, imagine yourself. You met a female monkey. She is a pretty, she is sexy, and you know it. And you are a very handsome chimpanzee or a gorilla. And then, you get married from this monkey and you pay her dowries. According to the story, actually, the original story here, you didn't see it. If you read my book, Six on the Law, you will see the story in, in full. The monkey, the female monkey, was uh, laying down and her husband, he was sleeping over her arm. Is that ringing a bell for you? Mm -hmm. Just take a note of this. We will go back to it. And then... When she saw a young monkey, obviously he is like sexy and you know it, she could not resist. You know, maybe he have a nice banana. And I'm talking about the banana, the fruit now, don't take me wrong. So she would draw her hand from under his head slowly and she went behind the tree and they did boom, boom with the, you know, uh, the bo new boyfriend. And then after she finished, she came back and she put her hand under the head of the husband and then he woke up. And then this Muslim chimpanzee brother, he started sniffing, you know, the animals, they sniff, you know, you know them. So he sniff and he smell the smell of a sperm in her private part. So he starts screaming, ha, 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 Allahu Akbar, ha, 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 ha. And then all the monkeys, they came from every direction. And they surrounded the female monkey and they stoned her. But here in the story, there's something missing. Where is the male monkey? This reminds me of the story of Muhammad. The Muslim, they say he was merciful. A woman, she committed adultery. Uh, she came to Muhammad and she is carrying a baby now from adultery. Uh, Muhammad, he told her, okay, come back after you give birth to the baby. The woman, she came back after she gave birth to the baby and she said to him, Prophet, I am the one who committed adultery. Have mercy on me. 
He said to her, okay, come back. I have a child, you know, I need to feed him. He's a baby. He's just born. He said, okay, come back after you finish, uh, you know, like the breastfeeding period. So she came back after like two years and she said, Prophet Muhammad, I'm the one who told me, you told me to uh, come back, you know. So uh, have mercy on me. Prophet Muhammad, he ordered to stone her. Uh, here the Muslim, they say, look how merciful the Prophet. I don't know. I mean, this, this your Prophet is an idiot. So the woman, she said he, she had sex, illegal intercourse. Shouldn't he ask her she had sex with who? Ring the guy? We just stone the women? How merciful, this merciful prophet. And now she have a baby, we stone her? <laughs> uh, but anyway, until now for sure, we did not go deep in the, uh, uh, in the knowledge of science. This is, you know, this is what the Christians say about Prophet Muhammad, to put him down. But the truth is, we, we different from this. So who is a Mohammedan would like to call us and show us that we are wrong? Anyone? Let us see if we have any contact from uh, uh, my friends. Don't send me, don't send me text in Skype. You know, we made this for Muslims to call us. We have a Muslim, his name is Muhammad Afzal. Let us see if he is Afzal or not. Let us call him. <laughs> Muhammad Afzal is not available. Okay. Oh, actually, a call declined. I see. Muhammad Afzal call declined. That's good. That's a good sign. Who is a Muslim? He would like to give us a certain scientific discovery. So we can learn from you. I mean, the challenge is very simple. You see, you call us, you show us. I answer you about what you say. And you can answer me for sure. Anyone? Anyone? Well, if Muslim will not call us, then we have to go and check the Muslim website or check maybe the book of Zakir Naik. You know, the Muslim, they have tons of articles, tons of articles about science in the Quran. It is extremely, extremely accurate. You know what accurate mean? Extremely, there is no lies. As an example here, not limited to. Let us see this article here. Actually, it's not a, it's a book, publishing Islam online something. Let us see. Quran and moderated, moderated science. Okay. That's good. Sound good to me. I like that. So this is a book supposedly written by a Western man, edited by a Muslim, uh, by a, a Western scientist who converted to Islam. Creation of the universe. For an exam examination of the creation, as described in the Quran, an extremely important general concept emerged. The Quranic narration is quite different from the biblical narration. This idea contradicts the parallels, which is often, I don't know if I'm saying the word wrong, often uh, wrongly drawn by Western authors to emphasize that uh, the resemblance of between the two texts, to stress only the similarity uh, uh, while silently ignoring the obvious dissimilarity is distort reality there is perhaps a reason for this. When talking about creation, there is a strong tendency in the West to claim that Muhammad copies, copied the general outlines mentioned in the Quran from the Bible. Certainly, 
it is possible to compare the six days of a creation as described in the, in the Bible, plus an extra day for rest on God's Sabbath, with verse from a chapter of Al-Araf. Your Lord God, who created the heaven and the earth in six days, chapter 7, verse number 54. However, it must be pointed out that the modern commentators stress, and here I like it, the modern commentators. You see, listen, listen, it is not the early commentator, the companion of the prophet, it's not the prophet, it's the modern commentator, and he's one of them. <laughs> stress the interpretation of Arabic ayam on translation, which is days, as meaning long period or ages rather than 24 hours. Brothers, sisters, you've been gut busted. It's not 24 hours. It was long period, and Zachary he says billions of years. Now, let us see if this is true or not. I mean, the, those guys saying to us, modern modern commentator i like the modern commentator to be honest with you modern commentator is the best forget about the rest so if we go here to the modern commentator we will find muhammad is the best commentator i mean who can commentate the quran better than muhammad hmm. Let us see if it is long period or 24 days, 24 hours a day. I mean, we did not start the book yet, and the book is destroyed. This is the prophet. Please say peace upon him, all of you. The Muslims will, you know, chop your head if you don't say that. Be careful. And this is Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim, as you see. Sahih Muslim. Don't tell me weak and, uh, you know, need vitamin. Muslims are weak. Muhammad is weak. Allah is weak. And Hadith is weak. And Quran is weak. And, you know, we don't find the Quran. Anyway, Sahih Muslim 2789. The Prophet, he said, Allah the exalted, the glorious, created the clay hmm, on Saturday. And he created the mountains on Sunday. He created the trees on Monday, and he created the things entirely in labor on Tuesday, and created the light on Wednesday, and he caused the animals to spread on Thursday, and he created Adam, peace be upon him, after noon on Friday. <laughs> but the book brother saying that the new commentators they agree that one day is not 24 hour a day. It is a long period, which means billions of years. Later you will see it's a billions of years. And here you see the hypocrisy and how and why we say, and we warn everybody, never and you cannot learn Islam from Muslims because they lie. They lie. Do you think those people do not know what their prophet said? Do you think those people, they never read what their prophet said? You see, commentator, I can say I will read a commentator about something is not clear. Uh, but, I mean, but this is Muhammad himself. I mean, who knows what the Quran means better than Muhammad? Do you see the word Saturday? Do you see the word Sunday? Do you see the word Thursday? Do you see the word Wednesday? I mean, how in the world those people, they lie with no shame? If you remember Ahmad Didat, he was making fun of a Christian in his video about the Bible says that God created the sun not in Wednesday, in the fourth day. Read with me. This is their prophet.
And the funny is in the book, they are saying that there is no way prophet was copying from the Bible. But remember in the Bible, before God created the sun, he created the light. He said, let be light and light was. So the sun is not the first created light. Actually, the sun is not even a light. Yes, it is provide light, you know, providing light, but it's not the light itself. You have to create the light first to be given to the sun. You have to create such a such an uh, like a, a, an object, if we can say, to make it exist first. The stars can be stars and can be a dead star, have no light, yet it is a star. Uh, so the Bible says, God said, let be light, and light was. Allah he said to Muhammad, read. <laughs> Muhammad still cannot read. Allah he squeezed Muhammad for the second time. He screamed in his face, you idiot, read. Muhammad still cannot read. He squeezed him again, and he says, read. And here, by the way, the irony is, the Muslims, they have articles about read. So they say, do you know that how Islam encourage science? We say, how? They say, don't you know that Islam started by the order of raid? Really? Yeah. Don't you know? Don't you know that the first thing when the angel Gabriel, Jibreel, came to Muhammad, he told him to read. That's really amazing. He told him to read. But Muhammad is still, he cannot read. So here we see the science work in a very weird way. Because if Allah messenger, which is Jibreel in this case, he said to Muhammad, read. And Muhammad is still cannot read. That's mean the order of Allah doesn't work. The Muslim they say, Allah, if he wants something, he say, be is going to be. The one who said read actually is not the angel. The angel is just carrying a message. I like that story, and especially I like the part where they get Muhammad busted by a cold in water. Because he was really, uh, you know, he like he he's, he's in a panic mood. He lost his mind, and he's acting as a crazy man. And this is additional, additional proof that Muhammad is mentally ill. So if you go to the story here, let me, let me show it to you. I, I just grabbed the hadith. Uh, you know, most of them might say to you, where, where it says that Muhammad they, they throw cold water on him. Where, actually, how in the world you can get cold water in Mecca? I don't know. You tell me. Maybe Muhammad, he used to have refrigerator. So this is the hadith here. Actually, this is not the one we want. Hold, give me a second. Remove, remove. Approve, approve. Amar Rabi Amar. Okay. Hey, I don't know why it's not showing. Hold on. Why this not showing? Ah, maybe this one, okay. All right. Read with me, please. And this is uh, the book of faith, Sahih Muslim. This is very authentic hadith. Uh, the book of faith, hadith number 161, as you see in the top. 37, chapter, the beginning of revelation to the messenger of Allah. S-A-W-S. This is like a Short waves, long wave. It's hard for you to understand. Yahya reported, I asked Abu Salama, uh, what was revealed first from the Quran? He said, O oh, shrouded one. I said, or oh, recite. What? What shrouded one I saw or oh, recite? Let us see the Arabic part of this so we can understand part better. He said, which one revealed of the Quran first? He said, Ya ayyuhal mudathir. Ah, 
I said, or read. But if we go to the Quran and we search for this chapter, <laughs> I mean, have you ever heard of a religion like this? They didn't know what was revealed first of the, uh, in the <laughs> I mean, this is how much preserved <laughs> the stories is. If we go here, <laughs> Oh boy. Ya ayyuhal mudathir. Okay, you know what in the, in in, in robed one what does that mean? What the heck is that? Muhammad was covered by what? A rays and worn and then say Allahu akbar and then purify your clothes and then abandon the abomination. Well, this is a condemnation then. Muhammad, he was not abandoning the abomination. I mean, do you see this to somebody? Allah saying to Muhammad, and abandon. He is ordering him. And this is about being pagan, supposedly. Stop being pagan. You worship the pagan Allah, not the other pagan God. So, we asked the Muslims, which one is the first one was given to Muhammad? 99.9 .9 of Muslims, they will say to you, Iqra, which is today in chapter 96. Here in this hadith, which is very authentic, the first thing Allah, he said to him is this. And that makes sense. Why? Because obviously here it says Muhammad, he was still a pagan person. And Allah, he is ordering him to... Uh, to purify his clothes because simply he is najis. And because he is najis, he need to abandon the abomination and then uh, don't do the following things, etc. Okay? And then you know, the rest of the chapter is really uh, very funny. Like if you read here, by the way, uh, what the heck is that? I mean, what, what is this? May he perish? How he analyzed? Again, may he perish? How he analyzed? Well, <laughs> then he looked, <laughs> then he forward and whined, <laughs> and then what? He turned back, and so was proud. Was proud. What the heck is that? Understanding Mr. Bean is way easier than understanding the stupidity of this verse or those chapters. What, what the heck is that? You know, somebody, help. Help. Muhammadan, help. Going back to the previous hadith. So the Muslims are not sure really what came first to Muhammad. But why? Because Muhammad, he come with different stories every few days. Then here you will see that Muhammad came to him, sorry, Jibreel, he came to him. And here there's a different story. You guys, anyone remember where, where Jibreel first time appeared to Muhammad? Anyone remember? When first time Jibreel appeared to Muhammad? Who want to help me? As you know, I do not know much about Islam. This is what the Muslim says. When the first time Jibreel in the cave, thank you. In the cave. So first time Jibreel came to Muhammad was on the cave. But look what happened here. In this hadith first time Jibreel come to Muhammad, it was in the down in the bottom of the valley. Let us read. He is not in the cave. He was close. You know, like in the in the in the around the cave. So I was in the area of Hara for the period of a month. And when I finished, I came down. And then I stayed in the in the belly of the valley. 
and then I was called. Let us go to the English translation. So the Muslim will not say, oh, he's, he's giving you fast translation. Hmm. So this is the first one was coming in Mudathir, we showed you the chapter, or a recite, okay, and then the, the Messenger of Allah said, I stayed in Hara for a month, and then when I, my stay was completed, so now he's left. In the, in the other story, Jibreel, he came to him in the cave. Here, no. I came down and I went into the heart of the valley. Somebody called me loud, Muhammad. I looked in front of me, and behind me, and on the right of my side, and on my left, I did not see anybody. And I was called again, and I looked about, but I saw nothing. I was called again. This is what? This is the third time. You see, Islam is a religion of a trinity in everything. Muhammad, he cannot hear unless you scream at him three times. Muhammad, shake hands three times. Muhammad swears three times. Muhammad, he says, Adam, he won the debate according, uh, uh, against uh, uh, Moses three times. Everything three times. Muhammad, he do evolution three times. His hand washed three times. His face three times. I looked, and this the third time, I raised my head, and there on the throne, in the open atmosphere, he. And here we have to stop with the science. Muhammad, he saw in the atmosphere, which means the sky above him, Jibreel on a throne. Jibreel have a throne? What is his kingdom? Do we have any Muhammadan can help? People, do you see the word throne? Or I'm making things up. Throne, right? I thought only Allah have a throne. And the angels is under the throne. And eight mountain goats is carrying the throne of Allah, as the Quran says. Now Muhammad, changing the story, the one is in the throne, is Jibreel. And he changed the story. Jibreel did not came to him in the cave. It was in the bottom of the valley. After he left the cave, going back home. And then here it says, I, e. Jibreel, was sitting. I began to tremble on account of fear. I came to Khadija. And I said, warp me up. They warp me up and they throw water on me. <laughs> oh boy. What they throw? Water? You Muslims, is it really water or cold water? Let us check it a little bit. Muslims, they are very decent in their translation. They never lie. Let us see if it says here only water. Oh, actually, here it says only water. It doesn't say cold. Yeah, so it's correct. And then, look what happened. So, Jibreel, he saw Jibreel in the sky. Jibreel, he called Muhammad. What he said to him? Called me loud. But he didn't say what he called him, what he said to him. But called me loud. Maybe he said, oh, Muhammad. So now he saw Jibreel. So Jibreel stopped talking. And then Muhammad, he was a trembling in account of fear. I came to Khadija and I said, warp me up, warp me up. This is a mental disease. You can search the symptoms of people who hear voices, imagining things, and they have a shivering and they have a panic and they feel feel heat or cold or etc and it is you know it's not a secret that uh, you know there is many these many like mental illness you see when somebody have mental illness by the way we don't make fun of him all of us all of us we have 
you know, in certain age, in certain time, we get sick. And sickness can be uh, physical sickness in a hand, in a leg, in a teeth, in, a, in, in the brain. It can be. So it, this is not the point. We are not putting a person down because he is mentally ill. We are just approving a point. Muhammad obviously is suffering from mental illness. Because there doesn't make a sense that now the angel Jibreel appearing on a throne. How he knew this is Jibreel? I mean, you saw what? You saw someone on a throne in the sky. How you know it is Jibreel? The guy did not say, I am Jibreel. Where he got the information from? So he went to his wife and he is shivering. Actually, in different hadith, it says that his neck and his muscles is, uh, is suffering from a great pain. Let us, you know, let us, uh, let us, you know, search for different hadith. And you will see how Muhammad keeps changing the story. Muhammad, he cannot repeat one story twice. You know, decent, decently. And this is again to prove either he's a liar or mentally ill. Uh, actually, let us search for this hadith in, in, uh, in English. Just to show you how you can find. When Muhammad he have what he what he told in this story he told Khadija what's wrong with me actually it is it is uh, it is uh, find it in the, either way uh, because we might find many hadith with the same title Here, you notice the story changed. Read with me carefully and see how the liar Muhammad cannot. And the funny is both hadith is authentic. Both hadith is authentic. Both are coming from the same books. Here it says that Jibreel came to Muhammad in the cave of Harra. There, no, after he completed sitting, staying around the cave or in the cave maybe, he went down the valley and in the valley he looked up him in the sky he saw Jibreel on the throne. Here, Muhammad, he have a different story. It says, uh, the command uh, commitment of the divine inspiration of uh, to Allah Messenger was in the form of a good righteous true dreams in his sleep. He never had a dream, but had that come to be true, like bright daylight. He used to go in seclusion the, to the cave of Hera, where he used to worship Allah alone continuously for many days, nights. He used to take with him the journey, food for that, like the time he would stay there. And then came back to his wife Khadija to take his food likewise. Again for another period, Khadija, she don't see him. The guy, he come, he take food. Khadija is just a cook. Okay. The angel came to him. Read me carefully. In it. In it where? In the cave. While he was he said, till suddenly the truth descended. When they say the truth, they mean the Jibreel, which is funny. Jibreel is the truth. Descendant upon him while he was in the cave of Hera. The angel came to him in it. So where is the angel location was? Inside the cave, not outside. In the other hadith, it is the opposite.
Do you see it? It was. It's opposite. How both can be authentic? Both hadith are very authentic, 100% authentic. The only way for such a story to be authentic is the one who, lie, who, who, who said it is a liar. He said what he said. In one, he claimed that the first time he saw Jibreel, it was inside the cave. and the other one, it was out of the cave. But both are impossible. And then you will see here that the angel, there's a different story here, the angel is squeezing him. There he just saw him, he saw him in the throne. Here the angel is not in the throne, he is inside the cave and he is squeezing Muhammad. So as long as we are talking about science, I want to ask the scientist, what is the, the symptoms we see in front of us? What disease is that? What Muhammad is suffering from? The man he is saying that he, an angel, came to him and he cut him and he squeezed him and he pissed him until he cannot even breathe. And he ordered him, says to him, read. And then the angel, you know, after he said that and he squeezed him very, very hard, Muhammad, he says, I do not know how to read. And the Muslims' confusion is far from ending. Or what shall I read? However, both of them is stupid. Why? If Muhammad do not know how to read, and the angel asking him to read, that means the angel is a stupid, Allah is a stupid. Not only that, Allah is saying to Muhammad, read, yet Muhammad still cannot read. Jesus says to the blind man, see, he saw. He said to the man, he cannot walk, walk, walk. You know, he walk. You know, he healed multitude of thousands of people. As we showed you yesterday, John, he said, there's no book can write down, not the whole earth books, can write down the count and multitude of the miracles of Jesus. Here this God, he said to Muhammad, read. Muhammad cannot read. Now, if the, if the God saying to Muhammad, uh, read, and Muhammad says, I do not know to read, how to read, or what shall I read? Both is a stupid. Why? Because the Muhammad is, is getting Muhammad, Allah busted. Should I read what? Imagine somebody enter to your apartment or your room, squeeze and you says to you, read. But he have no books, he have nothing in his hand. Read what, you idiot? And shouldn't Muhammad push the guy? Who are you? Shouldn't the guy say, Assalamu alaikum, this is a messenger of Allah. Both of them, they are messenger of Allah. The Jibreel is messenger of Allah coming to Muhammad. Shouldn't he say to Muhammad, Assalamu alaikum? You know, the same angel which Muhammad, he stole his name, by the way, is actually he's not the one who knows the name. He went to Waraq al Nawfal, his real father, and Waraq al Nawfal told him, Oh, this is Jibreel. Muhammad never heard of this name before. If you remember when the angel came to Mary in the Bible, what the angel says to Mary? Anyone remember? I'm sure all of you do. Is it true that the angel said to Mary, Shalom to you, Mary? Is that true? Is that true? Why the same angel or angels coming to Muhammad and they did not greet Muhammad with the greet of peace? Shalom, salamu alaikum, which is Muhammad he stole from the Jews. You see, everything in this filthy cult is stolen from the Christians and the Jews. Including Assalamu Alaikum. So as long as those people they speak about science, you know, science not only limited for chemical and uh, uh, steel and physics and astronomy, you know, science is a science of uh, logic, science of philosophy, uh, science of history, science of documentation, uh, sci science of authentic uh, uh, document. So there is science, there has been science as millions of branches, but you see here, this guy, he failed in every science. He can't even repeat a story twice. This is when the first time the angel came to him. No, actually, not only that. Muhammad, he have another story. According to Muhammad, according to Muslims, 
when the angel came to Muhammad, the first time was in his bedroom. Uh, let me find the hadith. I have it in, English, in Arabic. I don't know if you can find it in English yourself. So feel free. Let me show you the, the page in English. In Arabic, sorry. And I will give you the link, actually. Let me give you a link. So you can practice with me if you wish. And you can save the reference. And remember, by the way, we made the challenge for the Muhammadan to call us and join us and tell us about the science in the Quran. You see, now we are doing science. We are scientifically examining the lies of Muhammad, who find he find the sunset in the murky water. He found next to it where the sun set. He found the certain place of the sun. He found the sun set in boiling water, murky, boiling spring of water. He found where the sun rise. He found that hail is coming from mountains in heaven. He found that men have a sperm coming from his backbone, and women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs. I mean, he, he have a lot of find. He found that the, uh, the uh, semen uh, grow and become a, a piece of a flesh. So we can count endless science of Muhammad. But now we are examining the lies of the liar Muhammad. So I just post for you the link. I don't know how many of you took it and add, a, 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 like, a, add it to favorite and... Uh, Give it a title, description, so later you can remember what it is about. So in front of you now, I'm going to use Google Translation. This is the book of Asira Nabawiya Ibn Hisham. Volume number one, page number 239. I will not read the whole thing for you. You can read it because we are going to use English translation. But to make the story short, Muhammad, he sees someone in the corner of his room. Where? In the corner of his room. Khadija, she said to him, Oh, my cousin, can you tell me about this friend of yours? <laughs> you know, like you have a six years old kid and you say to him, Okay, tell me about your friend. A friend of yours, who, who? She's talking about who? Who come to you if he come to you? If he comes to you? Can you tell me when he will... What she, the, the translation here is not too much accurate. She's saying, uh, can you tell me uh, the one who is coming to visit you? So there's a guy, he come to visit Muhammad in the room, but you don't talk to him. And Muhammad is afraid. And he think maybe he is a shaitan. He said, yes. She said, if he comes to you, tell me about it. Jibreel, peace be upon him. I don't know if the text is clear for you guys. Uh, 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 tell me about it, which means it's about Jibreel. Uh, uh, Jibreel, peace upon him. But now, until now, he do not know if this is Jibreel or not. They don't even know who is the guy. Uh, came to him as he was doing. So always Jibreel, he come and he sit in the corner of the room. Oh, you guys, you cannot see the screen. Oh, sorry. But anyway, I, I gave you the link. So you can. You can do it yourself. All right. I gave you the link. So don't complain. You can use Google Translate. Remember always, if you want to use Google Translation, you have to open the link in Google browser. If you open it in Firefox, uh, Opera, or those uh, links, it's not going to work. So here, we use Google Translation. How to do Google Translation? You click in the empty side of the page in the side, and then you click at Translate to, to your language, whatever your language. For me, I speak all languages, as you remember. Uh, say, senor, you know, here we go, I speak Spanish. So now, uh, uh, so Jibreel came to him after Khadija, she told him, when he come to you, let me know, okay? Huh? When he come to you next time, you see him in the corner of the room, let me know. So Muhammad, he says to her, okay, 
I will tell you, Mama. Then Jibreel, peace be upon him, came as he used to do. As you know, he was doing before. The Messenger of Allah, uh, Allah uh, pray on him and grant him uh, peace, said, Khadija, 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 uh, this is Jibreel. But by the way, they don't know that this is Jibreel yet. How we know Jibreel? This is later, they are now, they confirm, so they are using the word Jibreel. He came to me. She said, get up, cousin. Sit in my left thigh. <laughs> did read this story a million times and each time I laugh as if I just saw it first time honestly it's like it's unbelievable I mean the guy he saw at Jibreel and now his wife she is a practicing science science examination actually even if you look in the page I don't know if you see in the top of the page it says Khadija examining the proof of revelation do you see it here in the top do you see it? I cannot zoom in more. You know, was, uh, let me see if I can zoom more in. Actually, I don't know if that would work. Can you see it better now? I think you can see it. So this is the examination, brother. So what we are doing now? We are in the process of examining. The revelation. Uh, 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 Victor uh, Christian Prince, I told you one thousand time. Don't ask me question because I will not answer it. Zach and Nag, I want to know what sitting in the top of her leg have to do with examining the revelation. Christian Prince, first of all, you are stupid, and first of all, you are stupid. Okay, Zach and Nag, you are repeating what you said to me ten years ago, but still you cannot answer a question. Who is the stupid here? So he is a prophet. The angel came to him. Why the wife and he is sitting in the why the angel is sitting in the corner? Why don't say something? With the breath. First of all, don't question Allah because the one who question Allah, Allah will give him a finger. Second night, Allah he gave me a finger. He don't give me a. Allah have five fingers. By the way, you mentioned fingers. Why have fingers? Christian breath. So he can give you a finger. What's uh, Zakir Naik? This is good. Shame on you, man. Be polite. What is your manner? Christian breath. I love five fingers because he want to use them. Okay, but this is a different topic now. We will go back to the fingers. Khadija is asking Muhammad to sit in the top of her leg. For what reason? Hmm? Any Muslim can tell us? People of science? Is that what happened to Moses? Is that what happened to the prophets of God usually? The wife, she asked the prophet husband, Come, honey, come. Sit on my, the top of my thigh. Look, not only it's her thigh. Which one? The left one. I mean, how small Muhammad is and how big Khadija is. Muhammad must be a midget. How you can, how you can, how Muhammad can sit in the left of the thigh of Khadija. Are we talking about a man or a child? Khadija was mama? The scientific, the scientific prophet, the leader of the ummah, the truth, he Khabibi sit here, 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 the left eye, the left eye. I mean, when you read this story, you, you, you die laughing. So now Khadija, <laughs> Khadija, she is examining the wahi. You know, in Arabic it says, Khadija wa imtihan al wahi. Khadija, she is, like you see the translation here, is test of a proof, is proof. 
The translation is not accurate. Examination of revelation given to Muhammad. She might know if it's true or not. How? Okay, Habibi, come and sit in the top of my left eye. So look here. Uh, so Khadija said, get up, cousin, and sit on my left thigh. He said, uh, uh, she said, actually, so Messenger of Allah, you know, he sat in her uh, left thigh. He got up and he said, look how obedience is. I mean, here you ask yourself, a person, he have little intelligence. Shouldn't he ask her, what is the heck is that? Let us think about it for a second. Let us say, you Muslims, any one of you, is a, you know, he receive a message from God. Okay? Allah, he sent you a message. All right. And your wife, she asked you to stand up and sit in, your right, in her right thigh. So didn't you say to her, what the heck is that? I mean, don't you find that this is uh, uh, very stupid? I see someone in the corner of my room. My wife, she said to me, sit in the left of my thigh. And then she said to him, okay, Prophet of Allah, do you see him? He said, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, mama, I see him, mama. You know, look, look, she said. And, and the funny is, look, it says, he got up and he sat on her. <laughs> oh boy. Now I know why prophet get married. I mean, how you will know if you are a prophet or not if you don't have women thigh next to you and you sit on them. So he get up and he sat on her. She said, do you see him? Who? Supposedly the guy in the corner. He said, yes, 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 yes. I see him. I see him. She said, okay, okay. Turn and around and sit on my right thigh. Look, what the heck? The left thigh, the left thigh is not doing the, the job. It's not enough. Okay, sit in the left, in the right thigh now. So Muhammad now. He get up and he sat in the right thigh of his wife Khadiza. She said, so Messenger of Allah, God bless him and Allah pray on him. He turned and he sat on her right thigh. She said, do you see him? He said, yes, 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 I see him. Okay. She said, all right, all right. So he turned and sat on my lap. Where? Where he sat. Brothers and sisters, understand the situation. The prophet now is sitting on her lap. Hmm. He sat where? Imagine we have video at that time, video camera, and you know we have this movie. This is this is the prophet of God. This is the prophet you must make so much noise about him, and you want to kill anyone who want to insult him. What the heck? You know, guys, to be honest with you, I think I'm a prophet. That's why I have an account. It's called Arabian Prophet. I mean, did you ask yourself why? But the only problem I have, I don't have a woman to sit in her lap to examine the revelation I receive every day. <laughs> How I will know? How I will know if I am seeing a true angel from God or not if I don't have a woman have left thigh, right thigh, and then she asked me to sit in the top of her lap. This is sex position now. They are boom, boom time. Unbelievable. And then she said, do you see him? He said, yes, 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 I see him, yes. Like, what the heck? 
The guy is still there. And then Khadija, she took off her clothes. The translation says she threw down her veil. While the messenger of Allah, Allah pray on him and be, he was sitting in her lap. Like what the heck? Strip this time. And then she said to him, do you still see him? He said, no. She said, cousin, be firm and rejoice by Allah. He is an angel, not a devil. <laughs> so the Muslim, they say, yes, yes, yes. The angel is shy. He will not stay to watch a wife and husband. They are going to do boom, boom. So when Khadija, she took off her clothes and now Muhammad in the top of her, the angel, he said to himself, oh, oh it looked like the angel is stupid, by the way. He did not notice that they are doing examination. He thought they would have sex. <laughs> and this is how Muhammad revelation proven to be scientific and true. It was the right thigh, the left thigh, the top of her lap, and striptees. How many of you saved this reference, people? How many of you did save the reference? Later you might, you know, try to contact me, says, where we can find this? I want to give it to you. You see, I spend many hours here with you. Many people, they go online for five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, they give you a video and they go. I stay hours with you. So I find it insulting, especially if you are here presented, not to save reference and later you ask for it. Save reference. Later you need those reference and you do not know how to find them. Now, we don't want to, like, we, we, we spend too much time speaking about the examination in scientific way about how Muhammad is a prophet. But in fact, we have way more things to speak about science. If we go back to the article which the Muslim they were reading for us, uh, what is the article? Hold on. The article of the Muhammadan is an article by itself. Uh, okay, here we go. So if we go back to the article as the Muslim is speaking about science and the Quran, where we stop, remember, they were saying that it's not about day long, it's not about etc. Where was the article? Hold on. Quran and science. Uh, I don't know if I close the page. I hope not. this all right so we stop here actually we were talking about that uh, some people they claim that the Quran copy the sixth day from the Bible in fact the Quran when he mentioned the Quran or Allah mentioned the six days he don't mean six days as 24 hours he mean long long period which mean millions of years but we show you the hadith about Muhammad speaking about it is 24 hours. Even he called it Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And even the Quran described how Allah, when he created Adam, Adam, he asked Allah to finish him before the sun set. 
<laughs> so I find I find the Muslim articles is like written for a fool by a fool. Do you you know Muslims? You know what if somebody he go right now and he check if it's really meant six days or not. I mean, you idiot. It says six days, and then in the seventh one, Allah, he went to the throne. How in the world the six days became six billions of years or six trillions of years? So why he used the word days? How you think that your lies can live? And here we go. Now we got you, Buster. We got you what Muhammad said, or what you were saying. And then it says, look at look at this here. In fact, uh, the nation, the, the notion derived from the Quran, one of polarism uh, in the celestial and terrestrial evolution. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There are also basic pieces of information concerning the existence of initial uh, Jesus, mass, Dukhan. Oh, Dukhan is a uh, Jesus mass. Uh -huh, okay. Which are unique in the Quran as well. Uh, describe of the element which was all the first wear of uh, fused together, Ratq. They subsequently become separated, Fataq. These ideas are expressed in the chapter of Fusilat. God then rose, turning toward the heaven when it was a smoke. But here you see the stupidity of those who claim to be scientists. According to your stupid God, the sky was a smoke, and Ibn Kathir, he said, that the smoke, because it is coming from the earth, not because there is a sky, is a smoke itself. And we can show the reference for the thing. However, based in this verse in the Quran, the earth was created first. Now, let us see if this is true or not. And this is for sure, totally against science. Because if we go in the Quran, we will find the following. Oh, I'm typing in English, sorry. Chapter 2, verse number 29. What the chapter 2, verse 29 says? It is he who created for you everything on earth. Then he turned to the heaven and he made them seven heavens. So what was it created complete first? People, what was it created completely first? It was the earth. And then Allah, he started working in the seven heaven. If we go to the front verse in the Quran, we will find the following. And actually we will go to the same chapter they quote for us in the article just to show you how we get them busted. Chapter 41 and we and look here, look at the liars. Do you notice that they quote for you chapter 41, verse number 11? Why you don't show verse number 9 and 10? Because those are about the creation. Why we go only for 14, 1, 11? Let us see why. In a second, you will find out why. So in the... Uh, uh, that verse, we will find the following. Chapter 41, verse number 11. Then he turned to the sky, and it was a smoke. And he caught the only one part of the verse. He did not quote the second part because it's stupid. Because Allah then he spoke to the earth and the heaven, and he said to them, Come, willingly or not willingly. They said, We come willingly. According to Islam, the earth and the heaven, they are creatures, they talk, and they believe in Allah. But why we don't go and read the verses before it? Why we jump to chapter 41, verse number 11, but we don't show 
verse number 10, verse number 9. Do you know why? Because if he showed them, that confirmed that the Quran says it clearly that Allah, he finished completely the earth before even the structure of the heaven is exist. Now, those who speak of science, according to science, according to the Muslim science, I don't want to say the scientist. If you want to go by science, you see, we Christians, we don't kiss the, 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 the bum of a scientist to agree with us. You agree or you don't agree, we don't care. We are believers. We don't care what you, you know, like you might say, oh, this is crazy. So you are saying, yeah, we don't. I'm a believer, my friend. Your science doesn't work for me. Like, which science will say that Jesus is born of a virgin? There's no science. I prove that. We don't go by science. But because Islam is a religion of deception and they have no faith in their religion, they try to bend the text and try to make it scientific. So they can fool as many as they can. Islam is a religion of Satan, deception. You know, if I say to you this talk about science, who want to believe that somebody put some mud on the eye of somebody and make the blind see? That is not science. Do we agree, Christians? We agree, right? Who want to believe that there is a person, if we are talking about science, his name is Jesus, he said to the one who is all his life cannot walk, Carry your bed and walk. The guy carry his bed and walk. In which his hospital you can do that? In which science can be this? Is, so you know, we Christians, we are not, and we will not bend our faith under the shoes of somebody to make him agree. Our Lord above their science, and we are warriors of a Christ. And that's why we call them miracles. Creation of the earth is a miracle, is not science. Creation of the heaven and the space and the stars is a miracle, it is not science. Every structure around us, we as a Christian, we believe it's a miracle and it's not science. Science is something we created to learn about what God, he created. The science of building. But what we are doing now, we are using what God, he created for us to build. So a person, he became an engineer or he got a PhD in engineering so he can engineer a better building. But doesn't mean that he is the one who created even engineering itself. For the first engineer, it was God. He engineered your DNA. He engineered the structure of the earth, the dirt, the dust, the water, the, the, the gas, the atmosphere, everything we see around us. So we as a Christians, we don't do what the Muslims do, and we will never be hypocrite, and we will never bow down to someone he claims science for our Lord above their science. But because Muslims... They don't have faith in their Lord. So what they do? They bend their science, which is the Quran, to fit with the true science of the scientist. And when we say the word true, I mean how and what they meant in their science as scientists. So here we see the Muslims, they quote for us chapter 41, verse number 11, but he did not quote for us that Allah created the earth in two days. Remember why? Because two lines before he said, it doesn't mean two days. It was a long period of time. And then, in the top of that, then he placed, after the two days, he placed, and look at the first translation, he placed stabilizer. The Rawasi here is mountains. He placed mountains in the top of the earth and he bless it and he give it the provision with like we trees, water, everything the earth has in four days. 
And by the way, here there's a mistake because two days here to create the earth, verse number nine, and then four days to create what is in the top of the earth, and then two more days to create the sky. The total is eight. You see how stupid Muhammad, and now the Muslim to fix it, they say to you, oh no, 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 those two days here are included in the four days. That would be more stupid. Because if we say two days, you don't say in four days, it's clear it says, and he did this in four days. If we change the translator, just to show you how stupid this religion, I mean, I cannot even believe that anyone in the world can believe in such a stupid book. And how those people, they try to duct tape this stupid book. Read with me carefully. Say, O Muhammad, do you really believe, disbelieve, in him who created the earth in two days? So, Allah, he created the earth in two days. He continue. And then, he placed therein, between two brackets, I, the earth, i.e. the earth, firm mountains from above it, which is a stupid, according to the Quran, Allah, he placed mountains in the top of the earth. The earth never have mountains. Why? Because the earth is a flat, according to the Quran, and Allah, he put the mountains so to make it heavy. Otherwise, it's going to fly. He bless it and measure therein it is substance. In how many days? In four days. So now two days to create the earth, four days to create what in the top of the earth, and then we continue and we find that then Allah, he lift up. And this is what the, what the Muslim, when they claim science, they did not say, what do you mean Allah, he went up? Allah was where? You see, the, the, the verse here says, then he is stawa. Between two brackets, he rose over. Muslims, where was Allah? Any Muslim? When the Quran says, and then Allah, he rose over, where he was down. Any Muhammadan? They will not answer. They, will, they don't know what they believe in. This religion is the religion of the foolishness. Where Allah was, you see, the second you ask a question, little question, you will see that this religion will have poopoo between the legs of, of, of the believers. What do you mean Allah, he rose up? Or rose up where? Anyone? Rose up where? You see, when we say rose up, it means he was down. Down where? On the earth? And let us take a break here and see where Allah was. Shall we? Read and love. Chapter Believe in the Divine Decree, Section 1, brother. This is from Sahih Muslim. Abdullah ibn Amr reported, God, Allah Messenger, are as saying, God recorded the fates of all creatures 50,000 years before creation, create, creating the heaven and the earth. 
and he was, and his throne was upon the water. Like, what the heck? There's no earth, there's no heaven, there's no earth, yet he have a throne, it's above the water. <laughs> Any comment, Muslims? How there's no earth, there's no heaven, there's nothing, he created nothing yet. And by the way, he wrote your fate 50,000 years, brother, 50,000 years. By the way, here, anyone, anyone remember something something stupid about Muhammad? About numbers? Who like who wanna help me? Let us see. Who of you is fast in in, in memory and putting things together? Anyone remember something? Look, somebody said something number. Let's see what he said. Uh, <coughs> The text is moving fast. Somebody mentioned the number 50,000. 50, okay, let's see. Okay, A e and B saying 50,000 before Allah thought of Muhammad. Okay, no, this is not what I'm looking for. Somebody help, 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 help. Come on. 40 years. Isn't it the same Muhammad he said that Allah, he wrote the fate of Adam 40 years before he created him? Do you remember the hadith? Guys, do you remember? When Moses and Adam, they have a debate. Moses and Adam, they had a debate. Adam, he said to Moses, do you blame me for a faith written for me 40 years before my creation? So now, Muhammad, what is he saying? What is it? What is, 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 that, a, is that an error? No. Is that the Aif Hadith? No. This is Sahih. 50,000 years. Let us go to the Hadith of, of uh, Adam. Hmm. Let us see. <clears throat> Where is the hadith? Who is it? Will take forever. Uh, okay, let's see here. Uh, this is one hadith, we want the other one. Let us see, let us use this one. We want to see the number 14 so we can show you this is authentic. Uh, we could not find it here. Okay, let's try to do this. Anyway, we, like we showed the hadith a thousand times before. Uh, but let us see if we can find the number. We should find it. Here we go. We found it. Thank God. Is it Sahih? It is Sahih. 
It is Sahih. Do you see? It says Sahih in front of your eyes. It says Sahih, right? Sahih, authentic. So, how many years before he, Allah, he created him? Read with me carefully. Do you blame me for a thing, a deed, which Allah had decreed that I should do 40 years before he created me? How many years? 40 years. The other hadith is saying what? 50,000 years. Guys, do you have the reference now? Should I give you the link? And actually, we can show the same hadith from different uh, uh, Sahih Muslim as an example here. Here we go. This is Sahih Muslim. So look what we have now. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Muslim too. It's mentioned in the book of Al-Mishkat, but we can find it in Muslim. You see, it says Muslim, Sahih Muslim. So here it says 50,000 years he created their fate before all the creatures. Creatures. He recorded their fate. Here it is 40 years. Why people don't have dignity and they don't have honesty? Do you, do you guys have the link? Did admin post the link for you? So you can save it. This is the first one. Let me share, send it to you. And this is the second one. How both are authentic? Any Muslim can answer? How both are in the book of Sahih Muslim? And how Allah created the earth totally before the space for the earth is created? And actually, in the same chapter, this guy who he claimed to be a scientist, or he is writing about the science of Allah, and he quote for us chapter 11, how come he did not mention that the last thing Allah he created it was the stars in this chapter why he jumped to verse number 41 11 but he did not show us verse number 12 and verse number 9 and verse number 10 for they are liars Somebody saying, uh, is the Mr. Moonlight, he's saying, I love Jesus Christ. That is in uh, is uh, uh, intense. Uh, the war dream and good for you to have a vision of Jesus. Also in Islam, we were always told not to speak bad uh, of bad dreams is the same as in Christianity. And this guy, he is what is that? Is that is that? Uh, is that a Buddhist uh, stone? What a dream. What, uh, what is that? Uh, yesterday we made a video about how Muslims they insult Jesus every day. But in the chat they say we love Jesus. Muhammad, he said he want to sleep with the mother of Jesus. Is that how you love him? When somebody loves you, he want to sleep with your mother? Muhammad, maybe, and he and he is going to sleep with the wife of the Pharaoh, the sister of Aaron. I mean, he loves everybody. So Muslims, they cannot answer the stupidity and the pervert prophet. So now what they do, they start playing the, the victims. You know, we love Jesus. What's wrong? They love Jesus. They love Jesus, they kill Christians. They love Jesus, they burn churches. They love Jesus, they chop your head. They love Jesus, they insult the Holy Spirit. They love Jesus, they made fun of the Bible. They love Jesus, they forbid you to preach the gospel. 
Do you see how much they love Jesus? This is the kind of love will kill you, literally. I am speaking to someone, Jesus Christ. I am Jesus Christ. There is somebody, his name, I am Jesus Christ, in the chat, and the admin did not ban him yet. Who is this idiot? He's calling himself as a name. And why the admin did not ban him yet? Yeah, my admin, sometimes they, they are eating falafel. They are not here. Okay. Thank God I left Islam. Why you left Islam, Daniel? No, no, no. Dan, don't call me, you know. You, you take us left and right with your topic. Sorry, I don't want to take you now. Hey Daniel, why you why you left Islam, my friend? Oh, you are a girl. Okay. Daniel, no, okay. I don't know if you like your picture to be in the screen. Why you left Islam, Daniel? Islam is a great religion. In the heaven of Allah, the Muslim men will have a lot of women in the bed. Allah will take the jealousy of the women so they will not be jealous fighting over the male. The man, he will have so powerful private parts. Allah will put you in a tent and you cannot leave the tent for eternity. How beautiful such a life. All, you know, okay, who is here as a female? Don't, let us be honest here. Who is a female? She don't like to be jailed in a tent. For eternity, and her job is the sex. Come on, you know you like it. Look, 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 look here. Look, look what the Quran is saying, brother. The funny is, Muhammad is still he imagined that the house of the heaven is tents. Chapter 55, verse number 72. And look at the first translation it says, restrained in. Pavilions. In Arabic it says Fil Khiyam. Khiyam, it is tent. You can copy the word, take it to Google translation in two seconds. Al Khiyam is a tent. So in the heaven, brother, it's a beautiful heaven, especially for women and for men. Hmm. So Daniel, why you left? Why you left us now? I left Islam due to how women are treated. Uh, the Quran, Hadith has so much lies and deception. Oh, oh, stop. I mean, here you are not right. Hey, guys, who agree with Daniel? Obviously, sister, you've been misleaded. Let me introduce to yourself, myself to you. I am from the Da'wah channel. Women are very well respected in Islam. As an example, if you... If your husband, he feel like you are rebellion, you say to him, he said to you, made coffee, you did not make coffee. What do you want the husband to do to you? Obviously, you are wrong. So your husband, he can beat you. Now, are you saying to me that the Islam treated you wrong? No, he is beating you so he can correct you. Man, always he help women in Islam. Women is wrong. How, I can, how we can correct her? And you know the Quran and the Prophet says, beat them lightly, like use your leather belt or miswak. Miswak is a long root, we can beat the camel with it. So we treat you nasty the same as a camel. So listen to me. Your lies is exposed and nobody believe in what you are saying for Islam to treat women very well. This is number one. Number two. Uh, okay, your last name is Lee. Do you know that Bruce Lee, after he died, converted to Islam? 
Me and Bruce Lee, Bruce, you know, may Allah bless his, uh, his, his soul. He was a very good Muslim. So Bruce Lee himself, he told me that he practiced, this is how he learned karate. He go to his wives, he have four wives. He break their bones, but he beat them lightly. And this is why he became Bruce Lee. Why? Because he made a bruise on his wife and his real name is Lee. So like a bruise Lee, the bruise, you know, like he, he say, I came to him, he says, hey, wife, show him, show him the bruise, you know. So he showed me the bruise. And then since then, I start calling him Bruce Lee. What are you talking about? You know, like, I mean, Islam is a good religion. And, you know, and the husband, he can lie to his wife. Look, look, in Christianity, if you get married, you can lie to your husband. In Islam, you can lie to your husband. What do you want more? You can go right now, take his credit card, make it empty, do shopping as you wish. And then he, you come home, you say, did you use my credit card? You say, I swear by Allah, I did not use your credit card. The prophet, he says, a man, he can lie to his wife and the wife, she can lie to her husband. So I don't know. I mean, you, I, I, I repent and come back to Allah. Okay, Daniel. Honestly, you are making a big mistake. Even Brosley himself, after he died, he converted to Islam. <laughs> you know, uh, once I went to Muslim chat room in Palto, and because those Muslims are, they have obsession. You know, obsession. Honestly, they don't even think. So I typed in the chat. I wasn't using my uh, the Christian prince because I cannot even get in chat room with a Christian prince name. They would go crazy. So I typed, Alhamdulillah, today, the Pope third wife and his mother-in-law who passed away long a year ago, they converted to Islam. The what, what? The Pope and his mother-in-law and his third wife who passed away, both of them, last year, Today, they converted to Islam. The, the one who was speaking in the mic, he said, stop, 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 stop the chat, stop. Stop, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Brothers, stop, stop, stop the text. Read with me. The Pope, third wife, and his mother-in-law, who died last year, they converted to Islam today. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, great news, great news, mashallah. And the text went crazy. Everybody said, Allahu Akbar, Takbir, Allahu Akbar, Takbir. I mean, crazy. I mean, this is this is this is the stupidity. Just say anything. They take it, they believe it. Just say anything great about Muhammad. So the Pope and his wife, third wife, not the second, not the first. The Christian, the Christian prince is so good in details. Not the first wife. No, brother, no, no, no. Not the second wife, no, 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 brother. The third wife and his mother-in-law, who died last year. Today they converted to Islam, and then after they went so crazy. One of them he became a smart. After five minutes, he noticed. He's you know he gave a dot to the whole chat room, like you know they can you can stop you from from chatting. He said, "Stop you, idiot! All of you. The guy is making fun of you. The Pope don't get married, and he says there that his wife who, and his mother-in-law who died last year they converted to Islam today." But it was too late. <laughs> Once the Muslims are entered a chat room, and they, you know, the second they see their, my name, they go crazy, and they, they give me the uh, the mic. We challenge you, Christian Prince. Come to the mic. Come, come, come. And you can't tell the the voice of the guy is shaky. So I took the microphone. I said, Prophet Muhammad, he was a wonderful man. He never been accused of stealing underwear. He never lied. He never cheated. He never. And each, every, and all, every single Muslim in the chat room was saying, liar, liar, you filthy liar. I said, the prophet was a good man. Liar, liar, he never slept with the women beside his wives. Liar, liar, he never been accused that he took an underwear. Because they are not listening. They knew that this is a Christian prince. He will never speak good about Muhammad. So whatever I say, they say a liar. And then the admin of the chat room, he went not, and he gave them red dot, all of them. He says, you stupid idiot. This guy, he beat us even in our chat room without even debating. We just agreed with him. He told you the prophet never lie, you said liar. You told you the prophet never cheat, you said liar. The prophet never have sex with the children, you said liar. Whatever you, he said, he said liar. He, you know, he was stupid. You know, he went crazy and started crying. You don't listen.
liar. Look like when you decide to see the truth, they accuse you of lie too. <laughs> Muslims. Uh, uh, do we have any, uh, Muhammad, I want to say anything? Who is here for the first time? Uh. Mm. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Anyone? Okay, any half one? Uh, somebody asking me about the Bible study. Okay, you see, the problem is there's many people that can do Bible study, you know, but not many people can do what I do when it's come to Islam, right? So I feel like, you know, it's it's worth, uh, you know, to to stand in, in here, you know, exposing this cult m more than, is, you know, uh, like I know, I agree, you know, studying the Bible is very important. But you see here, when we refute Muslims, we do. Like yesterday, we, we, you know, we did read many verses from the Bible to refute them, right? So we do it, but not directly. Uh, but, yeah, maybe from time to time I should go there and we do more Bible study, all right? Uh, Muslims have so many classes to learn, but the churches only seem to have a prayer meeting, growth, a group, a sermon. Yeah, but you know, when you say Muslims, they have many classes to learn, but Muslim classes make Muslims leave Islam. As an example, Yasser Qadi, he have a classes. Those classes, they leak through email. What is the result of the classes? There's holes in the narrative. So when you say Muslim, they have a classes, I love. What classes? That the Prophet, he said that when you pray, Shaitan fought? What do you mean classes? Shaitan, he take care from the anus of the Muslim when he pray, and he will not stop until he fought. There's holes in the narrative. The companion, they left Islam. We cannot answer about why the Quran have many different versions and many reading, and we can't even have one of them. So what the class is? So classes is just a, 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 you know, a silly statement because there's no classes in Islam. You know, a class is, you see, like when you go to university, the university, they have books, right? And the books, in order to be taught, it have to be come to an agreement, at least with the board of education. In Islam, there is no such a thing. The same guy, he is a teacher. Like uh, Yasir Qadi was a teacher for uh, Mimi Hijab, our sister Mimi Hijab. Uh, the second he said the truth, they wash their hands from him and they start fighting him and they start, they want to expose him. But this is their teacher yesterday. Name one person, Muslim, he is not attacked by other Muslim accusing him of teaching false. Go watch their videos. When I'm going to publish by my next book, well, I'm waiting for Jibril. All right? We will see. Working in it. When it's ready, you will know. However, actually, uh, the one who translated my book, Sex in Allah in Albanian, uh, he sent me a link, but the link was not working, so I was going to correct that, and we will publish it soon. So you guys, those who have friends from Albania, etc., they are Muslims, you can share my books with them. In Albanian language and we already we translated the book uh, but the person did extra job to do some correction in the grammar etc 
and we will post the link for you very soon. Yeah, Jibri will give me more information very soon. Uh, any other, any other, uh, you know, I think we have enough for today. And as you see, when Muslims speak about uh, science, we, we, you know, we die laughing. You know, the book was speaking about hilarious stuff, like the God who sent the, uh, an angel to teach magic, you know, Harut and Marut, you know, and science. And look at this stupidity. Uh, Suleiman, he have a flying carpet. Suleiman, he controlled the genies and, the, you know, by, by a ring. And then they speak about science. Can you believe it? Who, who is the hypocrite here? Who is the liar? And, uh, and uh, Yasser Qadi is trying to find where is Gog and Magog. And, you know, the Muslim, they try to duct tape. So sometimes Gog and Magog, they are insect. Sometimes they are a scorpion. Sometimes they are a human. Sometimes they are under the ground. Sometimes they are hiding by the hat. There is a magical hat. They wear it. Nobody can see them. Sometimes they are in the seventh floor under the ground. They are trying their best to fix it. But nobody can fix the lie of Muhammad. It's too big. And all of this is thanks to the Jews. The Jews is the one who get Muhammad busted. They came to him. They made him speak. All chapter 18. Chapter 18. The most hilarious. And chapter 27. Is because the Jews, they gave Muhammad a trap. And the stupid Muhammad, he took it. He added to his book. Uh, the amazing things that how jinn and the human they can have sex in Islam. You know, when you are a fool, anybody can fool you. Anybody can fool you. Uh, you know, go to, as an example, even in some 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 people who claim to be Christians, they believe in fortune teller, right? They believe in fortune teller. Uh, there is uh, uh, Christians who believe in uh, magic. There's a Christians. I mean, they believe in many things, which is, is uh, from the pagan time. So paganism is really strong in the roots of culture in many nations. But Islam itself is the paganism. Suleiman controlling the world by a ring. Okay, what, what this ring do? What exactly this ring can do? Suleiman, he go to the bathroom, he take the ring, he give it to his wife because it's haram. Haram to take with the ring of Allah in the bathroom. And then Shaitan, he took the look of Suleiman. Look how he can do that. And then he come and he take the ring from Suleiman's wife. And he wear it and became the king. And then Suleiman, he lost, he lost his kingdom, brother. And then the guy who claimed to be Suleiman, which is Shaitan, he start ifing the wives of Suleiman. And the wife of Suleiman, how did he discover that this is not Suleiman? Ah... He was so powerful in bed, brother. Never take a break. There again, there again, there again, then then there again, there again, there again. Honey, do you want to take a break? We cannot breathe. No, I cannot. I am a fire. Remember his shaitan, full of fire, brother. So the wives of Suleiman, I mean, how embarrassing to say that shaitan is ifing the wives of a prophet of Allah. Why? Because the shaitan, he took the ring of the prophet of Allah. I mean, can't Allah add fingerprint to the ring so nobody can be able to activate it? Can't Allah stop the, the, the power of the ring after the shaitan wear it? <laughs> okay, okay, we got it. Shaitan, he stole the ring of Suleiman. But can't Allah stop the ring power? Look like this ring, unstoppable. Nobody can stop it. Hmm? So, this is a very stupid religion, and you have to be really mentally ill to stay in it. A guy, he have a flying carpet, can carry 600,000 chairs, science. Not only that, all his army, which can go all the way from Jerusalem to the end of Persia, 
all of them they sit in the right side of the roof which in the top of the flying carpet <laughs> and brother Suleiman he ordered the wind and the wind go under the carpet and then he fly one distance of month journey by noon time <clears throat> Uh, Arnold, we, there is English. Maybe you can search online, my friend. Don't waste my time with those things. Those are easy to find online, sex and slavery. But in the Quran, you have tons. There, you do not need hadith. In the Quran, there is tons of uh, 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 statement encouraging sex with the slaves. As an example, if you go here in the Quran, the Quran says, ما ملكت أيمانكم Each time you see, oh, we type it wrong. Each time you see such a statement, the Quran speaking about raping them. Chapter 4, verse number 3. Chapter 4, verse number 24. Chapter 4, verse number 24. It says, it's forbidden for you women already married, except your state, which means even if they are married, you can rape them. Chapter 4, verse 24. And this is the same chapter I speak about muta, which means women, Muslim women, they are foreign to. Chapter 4, verse number 25. Chapter 4, verse number 36. Chapter 16, verse number 71. 23, 6. I mean, it's in this. Uh, you might say now, okay, I don't know what this word in Arabic. This is Arabic. Uh, very easy. Let us click and uh, translate, you know, use the translation. You can, you know, use this. Uh, where is the translation? Here we go. What the heck? It, it, you look at the first translation. Malakat aymanakum. It says, and the one already you have. What does that mean? Where is the right hand process? They took it off. What translation is that? Itani. <laughs> What a potato, son of Muta. Let us change it. Here we go. Now, aha, that the slaves, the captive slaves that your right hand possess. You see it? So you can marry one, two, three, four, and you can, if as many as you want, excuse my language, from the captive slaves your right hand possess. All right. I think we had enough for today. We have only 800 people today, 813, something like that. Look like the number is still small. Uh, uh, maybe, you know, soon more people will start joining us. Uh, we did not use this account for long. Maybe this is why not too many, you know. But uh, I hope today we learn something good. And as you see, when Muslims they speak about Islam, Muslims are the last one to listen to them. When if you want to learn about Islam, and not only that, Western to Western, don't listen to Western, especially the liberals. Liberals are stupid people, generally speaking, not everybody. They sponsor Islam because they hate Christianity. Never listen to liberals. Not only that, priests. There's many false, disgusting, satanic priests. They teach lies about Islam. As an example, Islam is Abrahamic. If stupid priest, he says that to you, say to him, how it's Abrahamic? Do they worship Elohim? Do they worship Yahweh? Do they worship the God of Abraham? Isn't it the Bible says, who is the Antichrist or Antichrist? Isn't it the one who denied the son and the father? How he can be Abrahamic? Isn't it Jesus, he said to the Jews, and they are Jews, born of a Jews, their mothers, their fathers are Jews. He said to them, if you are the children of Abraham, if you are of Abraham, you do the work of your father, Abraham. Jesus says to the Jews themselves, you don't belong to Abraham. 
So how dare you to say such a thing? So my friend, my warning to you, the Lord, he said, from their fruits you shall know them. And the one who side with the devil, Aka Muhammad, Aka Islam, Aka things against the Bible. He is no Christian, he is no priest. He is a priest of the devil. Be aware of false teachers. They come to you in the clothes of a sheep, but they are false. They are wolves. So the Lord, he warned you. And because you are warned, you have no excuse. When you see a Muslim saying great things about someone he claimed to be Christian, obviously this, this guy is no Christian. Obviously this guy is not preaching the gospel. Obviously this person has nothing to do with Christ. Do I agree? Because those who follow the Antichrist, how they can praise somebody unless they are in total agreement and they are in one side. If you ever see a Muslim saying good things about me, that's me, Christian Prince, is not Christian Prince, the one you know no more. You leave me. You don't listen to me no, never then. There's no way the Muslims will speak good about me. If that ever happened, that is a clear alarm to you that this person is not trustworthy no more. Light and darkness, they cannot be under one, on one roof, the Lord said. They cannot join together. From their fruits, you shall know them. So I hope today we learned something good and we are happy to our sister Daniel. She left Islam. Um, you know, maybe she can uh, one day uh, explain to us why. She thought about how Islam treat women. But you see, not this is not just a reason to, you know, Islam is a stupid cult. It's not just because treating women. I mean, everything about this religion is wrong. What about treating men? <laughs> Do Islam treat men good? You know, it, it make the man a stupid idiot. It make him a sex addict. His dream, his goal in life is just to F women because what? why would I go to heaven? Does that make me a better person? Because now all what I think about, I want to die. I want to die so I can go to heaven and women are naked waiting for me. And my private part would be endless. So Islam destroyed the humanity of the man and the women. While Jesus, he came back to us to restore humanity in us because many of us became animals. You see, in Christianity, in Christ, we believe. Don't call me if you are a Christian. Why people don't listen? Uh, in Christ, we are back to our humanity. Without Christ, we are not. A human being, when he is created, he's been given a soul and the flesh. That is the animal creation. In Christ, you have the Holy Spirit with you. And what the Holy Spirit will do when the Holy Spirit is with you, will restore your humanity to be human again. And a humanity means that we are children of the Father. We go high in the rank, high in the ethic, high in the value, high in the love to the point we love our enemy. And imagine if the whole world practice one sentence of Christ, there's no filthy Putin attacking Ukraine, and there's no Turkey attacking the Armenian, killing them, and there is no Muslims killing the Christians, and no Christian will be killing Muslims, and nobody will be killing anyone if the whole world will be just following one sentence of Christ. Love your enemy. 
one sentence is better than all the books is written by, about ethic. One sentence can change the world. One sentence is a Bible by itself. When the Bible speaks about you being born again, born again, you are not going to go inside your mother and come back again. Born again by the Holy Spirit, by Christ. You have faith in Christ, the Holy Spirit will be with you and you are born again. So with the Christ, my friend, you are a new human. Christ, he restore the child of God in you. In the same time, there's many evil around us trying to restore the devil inside us. Which Christ, he freed you from it. So he come to you with heaven full of sex and slave boys, white slave boys. Everybody will be white. Black are going to be punishment for mankind who disbelieve in Allah. Allah will make them black. Those who believe in Allah, Allah will make them so white. Evil, racism, hatred, violence, sex, money, gold, silver. This is the Quran. What is my promise in the, in the heaven of Allah? Gold. Who want to think about gold in heaven? I mean, even the idea of gold is stupid. If everything is for free, what gold for? Oh, I forgot. Who said that everything is for free in the heaven of Allah? Don't you know that Muhammad, he says, in the heaven, there's a market where there's no buying or selling except images of men and women? And if a man, he liked the image, he entered the image and he eff it. And imagine the image is image of men and women, and the customer is a man. So in the heaven of Allah, homosexuality, is a priority. He will go to heaven, he have a bazaar for porn, images, high-tech images. You enter inside the image, you eff it. And you are telling me that this is not from the devil. If you see something like this and you think this is good God, promising you the good things in heaven, if those things look to you good, I say to you, you are possessed by the devil. A God, he promised me a bracelet. What the heck is a bracelet for? I will wear a bracelet from gold and pearl, and I will wear silk, are you out of your mind? What? This is the accessories in the heaven? A bracelet from gold and pearls? And I will be wearing silk? Allah will give me women who are their vagina never been used and their human has never been open and they never bleed over their thigh is that god talking so when we look at what jesus he say we will see the nobility we will see the amazing teaching we see the amazing high not i don't want to say the word ethic because this is cannot even ethic can describe it the, the wisdom, the love, the nobility, the, the, the high spirituality. And look what this guy is talking about. He is describing for us what is inside the woman vagina in the heaven. That no genie, no human, he opened it yet. It's a brand new brother. The wax is still there. How in the world that can be from God? This is a religion of the penis. This is a religion of the vagina. 
And you know what? Everyone goes where he belong. The fly go to the garbage, and the bees, they go to the flower. Which one is you? Go where you belong. If you are a person who worship vagina and penises, well, Islam is yours. If you are a person who want to believe in the holy God, who he can give us happiness, no one can describe way higher than physical happiness, which is a temporary. Ask yourself a very simple question. Do you sometimes say, I feel good? It's not like you are just sitting and say, you feel good, right? You feel, you feel happy. But you did not do something physical. You hear good news. You feel so happy. Is that true? Your daughter, she passed the exam. Your son is healthy. You know, or the doctor says to you, oh, your son, he have no cancer. You are happy. So there is happiness have nothing to do with physics. There's happiness have nothing to do with food and sex. Higher happiness. Have you ever seen a man or a woman, she is in love with a man, but he never, maybe she never touched him, he never touched her, maybe she never even see him. Have you ever heard of somebody is in love with God, who he never see him, he never touch him, he never been with him? That is the high level above animal level. Otherwise, all what Islam promised you, animals, they have it. Animals, they eat. Animals, they enjoy food. Animals, they enjoy sex. Animals, they, in, they enjoy sleeping. Animals, they enjoy playing. They do. So Islam focus on you to stay as an animal. Jesus focus on you to restore you to be a child of God so you can fit to live in the heaven and the kingdom of God. That's why he said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. And what his will is, be holy like your father. We commit sin every day. All of us, we commit sin. And we cannot be hypocrite and say, oh, we are not sinners. But there is something different. We as a Christians, we resist, we fight, we, we, go, we struggle against it. As long as you are struggling against it, that means still you have a Christ on you. But if the struggle is gone and you enjoy sin and you think sin is the best, then you are far away and you will never enter the kingdom of God. So I pray that the Muslim, they will see the truth and they will stay away from the garbage of Muhammad. And as you see, we challenge the Muslim to call us. Not a single Muslim dare to call. Big mouth in the chat, big mouth in the comment section. But here they are silent. I want to say thank you all for being here. And I hope today we learn something good. And this is your brother Christian Prince who was serving you for today. In case you are not receiving notification from YouTube, and mostly you don't, you can go to a Patreon. You do not need even to subscribe. You can click at the last link. I posted about videos. I made my videos public for free for everybody. And you will be able, and it's better if you subscribe for free, so you can receive notification from Patreon when we go live or even before. So I want to say thank you all for being here. And this is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly today. And hope I hope tomorrow, if the Lord want us to continue. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. And Islam without lies dies. See ya.